Happy New Year, boys and girls. This is Miss Nona, the Story Lady. And this month, we're talking about some really fun things in story time. This week, we're talking about soup. It's really cold out right now where I live, and I like a nice, warm bowl of soup, don't you? Well, this book is called Duck Soup. It's written by Jackie Urbanovic. I think you'll like it. It's really funny. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley and potato, soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la. This is going to be grand. It looks hot and good. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon, red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, Cracker Barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many bean soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef, not Max. That looks really hot, that chili. Now he was making his own soup, the soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. Hmm. Max thought it over. A pinch of this, a pinch of that, broccoli, zucchini, chives, that's it. I think he thought of something. It needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in uno momento. He talks kind of funny, doesn't he? Smack. The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bibi walked in. Ooh, what smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Maxie, Maxie, where are you, called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So, what's wrong, asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Hmm. Dakota gasped. I think I know where Max went. There's a feather in the soup. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Did Max really fall in? Call for help, cried Bibi. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max, grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said Bibi. He can't hear you. They think he's in the soup pot. I know, the strainer. Strainer? The big bowl with the little holes. Grab it. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. It's a good idea. They better be careful, though because that soup looks hot. Ah, it's his head, said Bibi. Silly, it's only a potato, Brody replied. Eyeballs, his eyeballs, said Bibi. Guys, it's only tiny onions, said Brody. I think there's a lot of vegetables in that soup. His feet, yelled Dakota. Calm down, you two, it's only carrot slices, said Brody. Smack! They all looked up as the back door slammed shut. Who could that be? Hmm, I wonder who it is. It's Max. My soup! Max! 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 They thought he drowned in his soup. He didn't though, did he? That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said Bibi. Max looks kind of down in the dumps, doesn't he? They have a really nice supper anyway. Sometimes it's okay to eat pizza and salad if your soup doesn't turn out right or it gets poured down the drain. We know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed, even Max. <laughs> He'll find
find the perfect soup, won't he? The end. <laughs>